Hello! And this is what I'm going to consider to be the first, the numero uno, spring walk of 2020. Like, the sun's up and it's nice-ish. It's cold. I mean, yeah, it's cold. It's not, it's not hot by any stretch of the imagination. But, it's sunny, so we're going to class that as spring. And it's March. March is spring, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice, although, no one told the ground not to be muddy. It's like really muddy yeah, down here. And so I did, I've worn my best boots. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I didn't think we were coming down here. Oh, we are. <gasps> I film it every time. It is a fairy. As you can see, Lauren's come up against a natural barrier. How is she going to traverse this? She did it. It's like wildlife and wonders. Go, Lauren, go! Good job. By the way, guys, I didn't charge this battery, so I don't know how much life it's got left in it. So at any point, the camera could die. No, you thought we died. Well, we didn't die, really. We're back. Ha. Let's walk. Lauren just suggested that we go visit the lonely tree. And then I just looked in that field across there and look how flooded it is. Yeah, I mean, look at the state of this path here. But now we got to go, we got to walk all the way to the end there and then all the way down there and over there and it's going to be ridiculously muddy. Like, super, super muddy. Look at all the mud! <laughs> First appearance of the Barnsley Borrow was in 2020. We're back, baby! My feet are so heavy with the mud. Are yours, Lauren? I don't even want to talk about the fact that you dragged me down here in my best boots. It was a good idea because we're healthy. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh! I know what's over here. It's the field of Mufasa. <laughs> Is it here? Are any cows here at all? No? No cows. No cows, Lauren! Oh yeah, I'll uh, leave a link in the corner and in the description about the whole move faster gate. <laughs> Good times. Oh dear. I mean, it looks so lovely, and then you pan down and we just walk through all that. But it's okay because up here is drier, in it. My ears are cold. It's not cold. My ears are freezing. What a girl. Hey Lauren, what? you know we're healthy now. <laughs> should, should I say why we're out walking today? Why are we out walking to it today? Because I don't even know this, why? A six year old child told me I was fat today and not in like a sort of they don't understand what they're saying. That's not like a new term for like awesome, you're fat. In no. a malicious way. <laughs> the perks of working in a school. Anyway, shall we race? I don't want to race. On your marks. I'll win. Get set. Go! I'm winning! <laughs> Hold on one cotton picking minute. There used to be a building here. Where's the building gone? This is where you used to go to scouts. I didn't get molested, but I went to scouts here. Times they are a changing. Wonder what's going to be there. Probably like 25 houses. <laughs> So uh, we're going down a new secret path that Lauren's never been down before. Well, it's not new or secret because you obviously know where it goes. I don't. We're sort of sneaking down the back passage. <laughs> I fail to see why that's funny. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get molested at the scout up, but I'm not fancying my chances down here. <laughs> Neither am I. Oh my god. What on earth? <laughs> it's an angry beast. <laughs> Sounds huge. I've lived here all, well, most, no, all my life. Oh. I've lived here all my life. And I have no knowledge of this place. There's, there's, a, there's a dog. <laughs> there. We're going to call him Cumberdale. <laughs> no fly tipping. That means if you go to a restaurant and a fly serving you, don't give them a tip. They just spend it on things that are bad for the teeth and the mind. So we're home now, uh, like, we explored, we found our way back to the main road and we're walking back down the main road and that's when a mistake happened, in that 
<laughs> We've heard about a new... Um, Not new. A fairly new chip shop in the village. So we're like... Let's partake in a little portion of chips. Right, there's a backstory to this. We used to have a Chinese in the village that yeah. was like the best Chinese ever, wasn't it? It closed like And his chips three were years amazing. Ago. And with it, there was a rumour started in the village that this chip shop's chips tasted just like the Chinese chips did. So we tried and I can confirm that ten out of ten they do not. It was all lies. <laughs> so yeah. we went on Living a walk. We went on a walk to be healthy because I was called fat and we ate chips on the way home. <laughs> no, with that being said, we're going to get gone. So we'll see you guys next time.